this is all I got in my tooth here. My wisdom tooth. A little piece that came out the other day. Well, I went to General Dental yesterday and it went off without a hitch. Um, everything was great. I was a little apprehensive at first, but uh, once I kind of got used to the fact that I hey, got to have it done, it's going to get done, will I cry like a baby or what? I just sat in the chair and they came in there and he was so, he was like the word implies, gentle in his dental abilities. Came in there and gave me some shots. Um, like gum, I didn't even feel them. I was like, are you in there, Doc? He went, yeah, I got you. He hit a bone by accident one time, but he didn't mean to. And so he got another spot. He was like, sorry about that. Let me get a little spot here. I was like, mm, you know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, just kind of hit the bone there. And he's like, okay, let me try something else here. So he got that straight, you know, and, and I don't think people should be all upset and uptight because they're going to, afraid they're going to hurt. I think it just really depends on the dentist and Dr. Pate is a great dentist because he does care about your comfort. He doesn't want to hurt you. And if he can be gentle, if he can be, um, uh, uh any, do anything to make you comfortable, he'll do it. And, um, just so you have a great experience. So they got me, you know, I was on the chair and I was leaning back and everything and then got me, turned. my feet were like higher than my head. I said, Doc, am I supposed to be like this? He said, oh yeah, we got you. I said, I'm kind of slipping here. He said, nah, you're all right, you're fine, we got you. So, you know, he got to pull, um, he got me all numbed up and everything. He started pulling on that tooth there, you know, just um, not hard at all just barely and he let go of it and let it, what you call rebound I guess so he can de develop a pocket in there to s separate from the nerve and make blood uh, clot you know make a blood clot to kind of cover up that nerve and then he started working on my uh, molar and um, and he kind of grinded that decay out of the way and it felt like a I felt like a freaking horse like whenever a horse gets his tooth grinded on that's what I felt like and then we, you know, he got all that straight and it felt like a, you know, you can kind of feel the vibration. He told me everything that was going to happen and it happened just like he said. <clears throat> and, um, nothing was a surprise, you know, of, of what happened. Nothing caught me off guard except for a little bit of air to hit in my bottom teeth there inside inside there, but he didn't mean to do that. A little cold air, you know, my teeth a little sensor right there, and um, really cold air. And so, um, he uh, I think they get the air real cold or something, I'm not sure how that goes, uh, but anyway, um, he got that fixed and he told me it's like, you know, this is not going to be a permanent fixture, it's you're going to probably eventually have to have a root canal and get a crown. You know, it's just, that's what we're doing. It was just a big gamble on that tooth. And so, um, that molar. And so, um, the next step was, um, getting all the fillings scratched, scratched down, scraped down rather, and, um, getting it flush and level, you know, and stuff like that. I had a tamp on, piece of sandpaper, a tamp and grind, you know, so he can kind of get it smoothed out. It's like, kind of like, a guy is putting a, gun, a gunsmith putting a gun together and using black smoke to see where the parts go and everything where they hit up against you know didn't carve the material out of the way that's the same thing with the um <coughs> the feeling the fluoride feeling it's supposed to make it stronger but not strong enough as if it were bone so it can't be in there forever it can't be in there too long i might either have to have a Re, uh, a capping or root canal capping or just get to pull it out all together <coughs> um so anyway um we got through all that then he went back to the tooth you know and everything and i remember pulling a piece out and i was like you know that's a piece of my tooth and i just started doing this with it and i wasn't even thinking about hardly even think about what he was doing i just focused on that piece of tooth and my fingers you know, and just swirling around my finger. And so, um, anyway, it wasn't that bad. I just said, nah, 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 nah. you know, but no big deal at all. You know, and then he got back to um, pulling a tooth out, the wisdom tooth. 
and I thought it was going to crack, and I thought, well, I thought it was going to crack. It didn't bite, but you hear a little bit, you know, I thought, oh, gosh, here it comes. You know, and I can tell by the way his hand was gyrating <coughs> what he had in it, you know. I, I told him before, I said, I hope you make a good purchase on that tooth because I think it's going to crack. He said, I oh, will get it. Don't worry about it. And so it didn't. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It looked like a piece of corn candy. Somebody remarked on one of the videos, and because um, it was brown, white, and then kind of reddish, pinkish on the top, and it had a small little indentation where the roots came together like that. It's like corn candy. <laughs> but anyway, we got it. It got it out and everything, and um, put the galls in there. Had to bite down on that, and, and uh, yeah, it went really well really well and if you think he, he's there to hurt you he's not he's a, and it's like the thing says all the reviews show he's very gentle very gentle you know and the thing that's happened which they did when he stuck it to a bone he didn't mean to but little nips and things like that will are you know are likely to going to happen but you know as long as they're not continually hurting that's one thing if they're continually hurt and if he's still doing it, yeah, you need to go to another doctor, but he ain't going to do that. It's like he told me about the molar yesterday. And it's like, you know, if, if you, uh, if it continually hurts after you drink sweet tea or whatever, whatever you drink. <coughs> sorry. You know, then you need to come see me. But if it, it hurts just for a minute and quits her own, that's it. You know, you're all right for the time being. You know, but you know, things like that. That's what really like. Okay, and this is a great doctor. You know, he's he's really concerned about you know my own health and my teeth. So um, anyway, um, I don't even do that right now. <laughs> anyway, we got all straight and everything, and um, got the work just used. Got galls. Got the uh, bill paid, which was. If I would have had two extractions, that would have been four hundred sixty bucks. But being I had that. The wisdom tooth and the filling to kind of like a uh, kind of like a discovery type of thing, you know, and see how well it goes. Possibly having a root canal uh, crown. Um, if but if that goes bad, you know, if I'm going to bite down on something or another and, and I get like a chip, hopefully the filling doesn't pop out because I might hurt. Then I might have to get it pulled out. But you know. By the time I have insurance and everything, it should be right about the time that needs to, you know, we need to make a decision on the tooth, on the molar, whether I want to get it a zombie tooth, which is a root canal and crown, and that's what they are basically, zombie teeth. They're not, they're just there. They're like the living dead in your mouth, you know. But um, that should work out pretty well, I think. My next thing is to have a cleaning and um, after that we'll determine what else needs to get fixed or whatever because I think I got like a little smaller cavities and some of these fr front teeth where the dentine is exposed from a receding of a gum line because I didn't take care of my teeth for a very long time as far as going to the dentist but I did brush them and floss them but when I was younger I didn't do it a whole lot you know and um, uh, they kind of caught up with me and um, but when I got older I did it but when I was younger, I went to the dentist more than anything until like I was like 19 or something like that. I think I was 19 the last time I went. So it was about 27, 28 years ago that I went and had my teeth cleaned. And so, um, yeah, so that was, that was the only thing. And uh, I should have been kept, I should have kept going more and more often, you know, and having them clean. You know, that way I wouldn't have had to run into this problem now and getting that turn tooth pulled. Hindsight's 2020, 20. but I can tell you this, Dr. Um, Peyton, it's not going to hurt you. He, he's really sincere and as far as the health of your tooth, he lets you know everything he's going to do, how he's going to do it, what well, hey, and um, he, it's just not his goal to make money off of you by hurting you. It's his goal, if it makes money off of you, to provide you a professional job. He has to make a living too, so does his staff, everybody there, they all have teeth in their head, they all have ailments and problems too there are you know, people just like us so he is not a dentist trying to hurt you he's a dentist that's trying to help you um, with your teeth and you know have a great lifestyle or whether it's a smile or whether it's health wise you know both actually 
anyway I just want to point that out real quick and um, yeah so because a lot of people you know think so bad of dentists and everything I, I drove them nuts because I was asking them about potatoes and meatloaf which I ate and uh, you know I did pretty good at that and at this point in the afternoon I ate scrambled eggs that's about it for lunch because I didn't want to be too pushy with it you know and um you know, I about drove them mad, I think, calling there, hey, can you eat this, can you eat that, you know, and people said, oh, I see a hole in your mouth, I don't see no blood, and I was like, oh, wait, oh, and me call and make sure I can brush my teeth and everything like that, you know, and they said I could, I could brush my teeth with toothpaste, but I didn't last night, I just did it with a regular toothbrush, and I did it when I got up this morning, and did it with a toothpaste, and just let it rinse itself out and just fall out, so they go, spit it out you know it did great so um anyway i didn't really get a whole lot of sleep because my i kept salivating you know and it has it's kept swallowing but i'm not in any real bad pain um uh, before i took the um the big old giant pill of ibuprofen i'm not in any pain i mean there's a little bit of discomfort i could kind of feel it there but it's no pain nothing swole up yet uh, it's still there, of course. Uh, if I don't quit all this talking, it might not be. But anyway, it's it's still there. So you get to go, and everybody said, just leave it alone. Let it heal. Don't do nothing to it. Just eat your soft foods. And da, 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 da. And as far as brushing your teeth, it wasn't on instructions. I was like, yeah, I might need to put that on there. I, I like details. I like to be intricate. And what I'm supposed to do, what I'm supposed to not to do, you got to explain things to me in detail. Okay, we'll put it on there. Stuff like that. But yeah, that's all that remains of my wisdom tooth. Maybe. <sighs> I shall miss it. It did a good service for me. But anyway, just thought you might like to know that Dr. Pate's a really good dentist. And don't let these other people fool you. Don't even want to let the YouTube fool you. Don't let, don't even go by that, because I got so paranoid watching YouTube of other things can happen. Gums cut open, get the teeth extracted. Of course, mine weren't impacted. It came straight in, you know, wisdom teeth. And well, one of them was kind of like a, at an angle, but not very much, just slight. But um, anyway, it was great. He did a great job, you know, and they got me out of there I think they wanted to get me out of there they especially wanted to get me out of there when I went and got my excuse and everything because I lost my other one because they get you out and get somebody back in and get them out get them healed up and get them out you know get them on the process the road of healing get them out and so somebody else can come in you know and uh, but if you got questions and stuff that they're more than happy to answer it they help you out the best way they can you know and uh, even when you're paranoid to death like me but I'm have to do. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that for right now. I'm going to stay here and play with my little tooth. Wheel it around my fingers like so. We'll see you later. That has two roots up. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs>